Here comes a car. Here comes a car. Let's see if he flips us off. Uh, oh, he's gonna drive slow. Oh, it's gonna take his time with this Buick. <laughs> hey. Damn hay. Getting hay and some chocolate. Yes, okay. Hello YouTubers, Woo. welcome to Simple Diversion. My name is Graham. My name is Rob. And today we're gonna be talking about this bad boy. Man of War. Armada. Armada. I do know that it's got a six and a half by 56 ring gauge. Okay. It is a Toro. Um, so it's about a little bit of a bigger Toro. Yeah, it is a bigger normal. Toro. Yep, and it, it, it is a full body. It's got a Ecuador Sumatra yep. wrapper. Very dark chocolate. It is. Toothy. Toothy, yep. Great construction. Tight pack. Veiny. Yep, it's got some tight. visible seams, yep. but looks great. It looks like it's got a double cap here. Very nice. Smell of uh, chocolate, maybe a little hay. I'm getting some, yeah, some sweet chocolate with some, with a hay aroma. Yeah, Really definitely. good, good smell. Yep. Some sweet cocoa there. Yeah. Hay bale Smells again, though, good, too, man. with that. That last Man of War we had, we reviewed, that was good. It's pretty limited, so for a box of four, which I'll put up here. It's um, expensive. It's 80 bucks. Woo! But for cigars, a box of four, not for one. For a box of okay. four. You can get them from Cigars International. They are going to be an exclusive to okay. Cigars International. But wow. a lot of the times, too, they do run them on sale. So I got four for about 40 bucks. Okay. So it makes it a little bit easier. That's pretty good, yeah. So you got it for 10 bucks a pop instead yeah, of 20. 20. They are only going to roll 10,000 a year. Okay. So that's kind of where their price point goes up through the roof. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to light it in this wind. Oh yeah, that should be We're fun. We're up at the lake. I uh, got a lake house here and we wanted to show the lake, but it's really breezy on the other side of the cabin. I think we spent about an hour. We spent about an hour trying, trying to, to find up and different spots. It's still a little breezy here, so we do apologize if it's a little windy or it's loud. You might even be able to hear the waves. On the dry draw, sweet chocolate. It's a little snug. Man, this this tastes to me just like a milk chocolate bar, at least on the dry draw. Yeah. My my draw so far seems pretty good. We do have some Eagle Rare bourbon here, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. We haven't been drinking it yet. We're just kind of getting ready, but we do want to give you obviously the the best flavors that we can. So we're not going to start drinking until we can get that. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Come on, baby. <laughs> Let me see them. What? I don't know. Well, I don't know where I was going with that. I do want to give a shout out once again for Pete, for Pete's sake, have a cigar for making a video and a cake for our 100th subscriber celebration. So thank you, Pete. Thank you, Tom. Highly appreciated. Loved the video. Thought it was funnier than all hell. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't uh, really sure where they were going with it, and then. Like, is she getting the cigars or what? She getting the Cubans or what? And all of a sudden, bam! Oh, wow. I've had one of these before. And it was pretty good. Yeah, it is good. I like it. You know, a little bit of spice, not too much. Yeah, off the, uh, off the first couple puffs. Spice earth, dry tobacco. Yeah. Very good. And like Rob said, this is a full body, so we'll see if this knocks us on our rear ends. Yep. Or if we can withstand we'll the see. Man of War. We'll see. You got a higher tolerance than me. We're gonna smoke this down a little bit and then we'll check back in in a few minutes. Sure will. <laughs> ah! Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> well, we're back and Rob just ashed all over himself. I was just about to say that the Ash is hold on really strong, but it is pretty windy, <laughs> so we'll give it the benefit uh, of the doubt. Real spicy off our first few draws. Oh yeah. It's calmed down for me now that we're kind of into the first third. Are you hitting that vanilla yet? More of like a woody flavor than a vanilla with the with I'm the earth. Some, I'm getting some woody cedar, a little bit. Okay, getting there. There we go. But uh, but yeah, I haven't gotten any vanilla. 
But I am getting that uh, that earthy tobacco still. Spice. A little bit of spice, lot, but yeah. the spice has the died spice down. The spice has died down. Pretty good burn so far. I haven't had to touch it up. It's not razor sharp, but. I had a good burn until it just fell off on its own. <laughs> so now it just looks like uh, the guy from Tekken. Tekken. His hair. What's his name? Hayachi. Hayachi. You ever play Tekken? No? Tekken 3. Te so Tekken you know, you know Hayachi, the boss? I do. Definitely a long, long lasting finish. Long finish. Very long. Nice journey there. Sorry if the sun is. Yeah, these dark clouds are coming. Messing up our over. exposure, but it's really hitting. But it's mess. beautiful. I mean, I I enjoyed. If we weren't trying to shoot a video, the 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 breeze would feel wonderful. But it's it's too windy. Other than the spice dying down a little bit, it's been pretty consistent thus far. Would you choose this without talking price? Would you choose this over the? The, uh, the other the ruination the ruination thank you no uh, the ruination is gonna be in my top five for yeah I mean that was cigars. that was good <sighs> grab my water here <laughs> for you who don't know we do whiskey videos as well yeah. uh, if you're into whiskey scotch bourbon uh, go ahead and check those out we picked up a couple gems last night that we put on our Facebook page uh, yesterday not last night but we went grocery shopping. we did we went grocery shopping <laughs> with the ladies too and yeah. they they were more than helpful yes so uh, surprisingly so thank you, ladies. Um, but yeah, we got we got a couple good gems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go on our Facebook page and see what we were we got. Yeah, and then we'll be doing <laughs> reviews of those. Oh yeah. You know, coming next up. few weeks. As long as we still have a little bit to drink. Mm -hmm. Here in a little bit, we might tag this up with some Eagle Rare, which is a bourbon from Kentucky. Kentucky straight bourbon. Yeah. Definitely is a full body. I'm not too too much on my off my feet, but I'm sure Wait. once I stand up. We'll be rushing for the sugar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for those who don't know, did we talk about this in the video yet? I don't know. I think we have. Not sure. But if you're you are feeling a little queasy after a nice full cigar, uh, something you can do is get a spoonful of sugar, swallow that up, get and your blood and with, pressure right back up. Within a couple minutes, blood you'll feel a lot better. Yeah. Yep. It's either that or the uh, or throwing up. I, I prefer the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna smoke this down. A little bit more. See if something. More. See if anything See if we changes. pick up that wood, that vanilla. And then we'll we're let gonna you know. introduce the uh, bourbon to it. See how that pairs. Absolutely. All right. Catch you soon. Catch you soon. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I will join the club. <laughs> Let's blame it on that the wind. That is a great pairing. Son of a. You want to talk about? It. We got to talk about something. Got to talk about something. You know, my ash is still on the ground intact. Just the wind That's blew it off. That's impressive. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about how depressed we are to go back to work tomorrow. That is pretty depressing. Three day weekends, that's tough. That is tough. You know, we're only about halfway down and it's, we ate lunch before this, but I am still feeling. Yeah, we did. I don't want to say lightheaded, but I can feel the full body yeah. kind of inside of me, punching my insides. I'm just feeling not, it. I'm feeling it in my brain. It's not like terrible, like I feel sick, but I can. I definitely feel a little jittery and yeah. kind of light. I feel like I'm getting over a concussion. If you're not a full body cigar lover, this might not be a good cigar to try off the bat. I would, I would pull it off, yeah. If you're just getting into cigars. Yeah, go, and if, go if you, for the ruination. If you are just starting to get into cigars, go for a mild cigar. Something oh, yeah. that's not gonna put you on your back end. Yep. You know, Connecticut usually are gonna be mild. Not necessarily, yeah. but for the most part. That Oliva Connecticut. Yep, the Oliva that Connecticut. Is good. Yeah. Um, and it's a long lasting burn too. There's a bunch out there that you can try. Just ask your local B and M worker and they should be able to help you out with that. I'm gaining some weight. Me too, I like the shirt, it kinda hides it. This shirt's kind of tight, so if you see like 10 rolls there, there's 10 rolls. I've had an injury on my hand and a, a strained calf, so I've not been able to run, and I'm, I just By feel... By a stray cat? St I, I got a strained <laughs> calf. Oh, okay. <laughs> but definitely need to get back out and run and exercise a bit more. Yeah. We'll see. We're gonna cut out one more time, get to the, kind of the end of here, and give you our final thoughts, so stick around and we'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> so, final thoughts, Graham. Spice is ramping up again. 
But other than that, still uh, a little bit of chocolate, maybe cocoa, uh, earth. Still the tobacco, just that dry tobacco. Yeah. Even with the bourbon paired in it, but the it, the bourbon does not take away from this cigar. This cigar is so powerful, it almost takes away from the bourbon. Right. <laughs> it does. It does. I, I like the pairing though. Yes. But it does take a little away from the bourbon, but it, it kind of equals out that bourbon taste. Even though I like Eagle Rare, I would buy this cigar. Would you? I, I don't love it. You know, like you have said off camera, I don't love it. I do like it, and I enjoy it, um, and I would buy it. Very good cigar. Not necessarily the flavors that I go after when I'm smoking a cigar, but very great construction, right. great flavor, and flawless cigar okay. itself. I don't know if I would necessarily buy these again, especially if they're full price. You know, yeah. maybe at $10 kind of a stick, steep. I'd get another four pack, but it's not something that I'm gonna chase after and say I have to keep that in my humidor. Thanks. <laughs> Go out and try this, you know, come up with your own. I would definitely recommend any seasoned cigar smoker to ha try this. But um, if you're just a lightweight, probably not a great idea right. right off the bat. Well, this was fun. This was fun. It was a little irritating trying to set up, but yeah, it was fun. We did it. We did it. Happy Memorial Day from Simple Diversion. And uh, this was the Man of War uh, Armada. Yep. And uh, we are thankful once again. Yes. For your support. Yep, and for the troops. Definitely for the troops. <laughs> we just encourage you guys to take a moment today and um, you know remember what Memorial Day is all yep. about. It's about those who have paid the ultimate yeah. sacrifice to protect this great country. Right. We're not gonna be getting into political stuff here. You know, this country is just like anything else where it's got its, you know, problems that we have to work through but yep. we still have a we live in a great country where we're free to yeah. do this kind of stuff and if it wasn't for those who have fallen and the the war is past we would not be free very good so, so thank you so thank and you if you know somebody that knows somebody or that's lost somebody you know thank you yeah and if you've never made it to Arlington Cemetery uh, there in DC I highly recommend when you go there check that out all right, guys, thanks for stopping in. Have a great rest of the weekend. And as always, see you soon. See you soon.